How often is your phone ringing? Good afternoon. This is Isaiah Owens from Owens Funeral Home. Question, do you have a limit on the number of people that can come to the cemetery? These are about 15 people that went to the crematory last week. These are what the ashes would go in, whatever one the family picks out. OK, come on, guys. It got to the point where I had to tell families I can't do any more services right now. I understand, but understand this. Nobody is getting a proper anything right now. And we just ran out of square feet to be able to put another body. Spin it around, huh? Spin it around. Wall to wall to wall to wall bodies. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. We are past the peak, but I'll still be dealing with these corona deaths until September. While the pandemic is impacting every community in this country, it's having a particularly devastating impact on communities of color. Black residents are twice as likely to die from the coronavirus than white Americans. Due in part to long established health disparities in this country. Here in New York City. Hello? in the morgue for about a week before I can get to her. Text me her number. This morning, I had to bury two of my friends, and it's been happening almost every day. Many of us live like we're going to be here tomorrow. But one thing Corona has taught us is that tomorrow isn't promised to us particularly. Mary Hughes had a word of encouragement for people. Had we not been in this quarantine, this place would not be able to hold those whom she touched. It was just one person after another after another one. The African-American community is going to be in the deep mourning for a long time. There is a lot of people that has broken hearts right now because they've lost not only one family member that they loved, but sometimes several family members that they loved all at one time. Before now, when you came to the crematory, the family went inside the chapel and did their prayers. But now, um, they won't even let the families come. Um, you just have to drop off the body like we're doing now. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll be back. No All right. I got like maybe 100 cases in about five days. It's crazy. Well, Mr. Owens, you, I, I know you, you just keep going, but you got to get some rest, too, now. I am. I know it's hard with everything that's going on, but we've had to turn folks away. It's just been too yeah. many. We yeah. don't have the space for people. I don't know when the last time any of us been on a vacation, if we could be able to take one this year, the way things have been going. But you know what? I had me a little vacation when I was sick with the coronavirus. I took advantage of that. I turned my phone off. And all I did was slept all day and all night. But I was aware that Lily might come in the bedroom and find me in there dead. But I was all right with that, too. I got just a slight sore throat. Then my temperature started going up. My test came back positive with some of the pre-existing conditions that I had, I knew that any minute could be my last minute, but um, for some reason I was at peace. I wasn't worried at all. 
three. I don't consider myself a frontline worker. Okay, pull him up. But I'm putting my life on the line doing what I love doing, trying to take care of as many families and deceased people as possible. We've been trying to still give people an open casket at least for an hour or two. There are some funeral homes that's only doing direct burials. And I decided if I had to risk my life, I was going to risk my life and try to be able to present people with a decent looking person that they could say goodbye to in spite of this virus. He's a veteran of the Air Force. And he's going to the military cemetery tomorrow. Put it tight. Mr. Abraham Tucker was my Hirsch driver. He was like a part of the family. For him to be laid out in his white suit, decked out, that's closure. I think he looked handsome. I think that he'd be happy. Oh, he'd, be, he'd be talking a whole lot of trash right now about how he looked. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he could, yeah. That's my friend. I just spent the night with him maybe two, three months ago. We did that in 20 years. We talked all night. We lost three family members on my other side, so we make the third. Mm -hmm. The coronavirus has ripped a hole in our community. One, two, three, up. I've never been as busy as I've been in the last two months. And I hope I never be this busy again. <laughs>